So before this video starts, uh, I need to explain a couple things to you and I would rather just show the video, but uh, so this video was prompted by one of my subscribers and uh, many others have asked the question. So this is kind of an important video. So you're gonna have to kind of pay attention here uh, to understand what I'm, what I'm gonna tell you. Um, I have two videos uh, about this subject already, about the tree rings. Um, this woman was asking about uh, a place in Scotland called uh, Sicker Point, S-I-C-C-A-R Point. It's a small little tiny spot on the coast of Scotland. But you can go to Ireland, Switzerland, many places around the world and see the same thing. And they're just showing you a tiny, tiny, tiny little part of the coastline. I mean, so ins insignificant to uh, from what they're showing you to the coastline. But they say it's the birthplace of geology because they call it the Great Unconformity. But I'm going to show you that it's all just part of the root system or the tree remains. But you got to follow along with this video if you really want to to know and understand things because a lot of people have asked this question and I'm going to get deeper into uh, explaining it. Uh, there are a couple channels out there that will tell you it's collagen from a dragon that's a thousand miles long. Okay, uh, It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you that it's from what that kind of nonsense and what the mainstream says is a lie. Anything from the mainstream is a lie. Uh, you, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to show you so many different examples of the tree rings and how they break down. And they will run vertically and horizontally. And you got to understand that it's not like a, a, a tree was perfectly round. Okay, They would be all, long shaped, all kinds of different angles. You look at all the, the, the mesas, the buttes, the plateaus and the coastlines. You got to understand you really have to take into to consideration the size of the trees and the root system that would have anchored these trees. But I'm going to do my best to show you. Uh, and you got to you got to understand also along the coastline because of the salt water, there's a lot of erosion and decay, and things uh, they wear different than like being up in the mountains due to the salt water and the waves crashing against it. Uh, but let me. Uh, and you know, like with, with trees, you got to understand the size. So how, how like with the cedars, they're a lot like the junipers. They're a different, different type. Uh, a juniper is not a cedar, but they look a lot alike in their characteristics of how they twist and turn. And uh, the characteristics of a cedar are very, uh, are very different than many other trees. So let me just show you a couple things real quick before the video starts. Let me try to flip this around here. So these are small examples, okay? And I'm I'm going to put so many examples in this video, so there's no question whatsoever. You know, everything that I show you, I try to make it to where it's self-evident, to where it's not my opinion, it's not my belief. I'm showing you. So you got to understand that a tree, the rings, how they break down, especially like when you have all kinds of clusters and knots and twists and turns. So they call that place the sicker point, the unconformity, the birthplace of, of geology, because they have a layers that run vertically and horizontally. You know, you got to understand that these trees uh, did all kinds of things, especially the cedars. This could be called the unconformity. This thing right here, you look in here, they're twisting and turning. Okay, but... I'm going to explain all this and my pictures will show it. So I really hope you watch this video because it's going to explain a lot to a lot of people who always have the same question. So a tree is a not always round. Okay. They could be oblong shape. So like, uh, there could be straight lines, uh, in the tree, just depending on the shape. It's not always a circumference round. So then when you look down at this, okay, just remember this, I'll put pictures in. Every ring that you see does this. 
and then say that the 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 coastline was washing in here okay and this came up say this came up higher okay you'll understand with the picture and you'll see the rings all these rings that get worn out okay i'll show you that okay just like similar to this okay you might not make sense now but you'll understand then the rings become monolithic and you won't see the rings because it gets smoothed over okay you don't really see the rings in in this that are prominent because uh they've just been weathered okay but there could be parts of this if i had more of it that would show the rings so that's where you would get the appearance of vertical and horizontal sometimes just like in here okay i want you to look at this see how the rings work okay there's so many different examples okay you see here how see how this twists and turns okay and it went up this is part of a juniper and a cedar tree it would twist and turn and go up and this is just a small example okay and the rings come down right here into this knot and they kind of just conjoin and the rings stop because it's a knot where like a, a, another branch could have came out okay you got to understand how like it's a 3d a 3d example just like here it, there's so many different examples of how the tree rings work okay now let me just show you here this is a good like 3d cutout okay and you got to imagine these things will the rings will split vertically and horizontally okay it's important to understand that this could be laid on its side and then all the rings so th this is horizontally okay this is up and down if it was laid on its side you would see all this it would look like sediment okay they're not it's not sediment it's just dependent on how the tree breaks down or if it's a large branch or part of the tree that's laid down and you do a 3d cutout and you lay this down like this and the rings would be upright you lay it down they would call it sediment okay it just all depends but i'm going to show you all that in my videos you see here how the rings are okay this this could be laid over like this and they would call all this sediment okay it could be laid like this and the water runs through it and just cuts all the channels and it would look something like this but you'll understand all that i'm just trying to give you a kind of a a, a basic understanding just remember this okay it's going to be self-explanatory and you're going to understand how the trees how how what they are always calling sediment is just the tree rings depending on uh if it was laid down how it's laying how 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 the tree broke down because you could lay this this like 3d cutout in any kind of direction uh and you'll see and you'll see like right here okay and what's really important to remember okay you could see the radius i mean the circumference right here so if you have a tree that's large enough say this is a, a thousand feet from here to here the radius was so large it would seem straight because it don't have a, a large radius in that amount of space you could have a tree that is not perfectly round it could come like this and zigzag out like that okay you'll see i'll put pictures of that in here and i'll show you that trees are not always just round especially cedar trees and juniper type trees okay but my but as the video goes on you'll understand more i just wanted to explain this to you there are so many ways that these trees break down uh vertically and horizontally you gotta you gotta look at these at the the remains in a 3d type uh vision not a not a 2 2d or a 1d okay it's very important to understand that because what everybody calling sediment is not it's tree rings i'll put so many different pictures in here so you understand it and no matter where you are in the world you'll be able to see it with different eyes okay 
I'm going to show you what that is right here. I'll put pictures in. And I'm going to put, also put just a couple other random things that don't necessarily have to do with the rings. But it's important for you to see it. So uh, I'm going to get on with the video. And I hope you watch it because it's very educational. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let it be wet with the dew of heaven. Let his portion be with the beasts and the grass of the earth. 
Now have a look on top of the giant tree stump where the guy who is flying the drone is standing. Look at the pattern of the grain underneath where they're standing. Now look at the wood grain pattern on this railroad tie, which is basically the center of a log that has been cut on each side. It's identical to the top of this giant tree stump that these people are standing on. It can't get any more simpler than this right here. You can see it with your own eyes. So this is how I find all my gold. I find bedrock shelves like these filled with clay soil and old rivers. And then I uh, start working on them until they look like this. We wash all that dirt down. We collect it, we run it through a sluice. And then we find our gold. So this is how I find all my gold. I find bedrock shelves like these filled with clay soil and old rivers. And then I uh, start working on them until they look like this. We wash all that dirt down. We collect it, we run it through a sluice. And then we find our gold. Let me show you here, okay? So here's a set of rings that is recognizable, okay? You see that? Give me a better overview. Okay, all this is the same. This could be a massive branch that's hundreds of feet in diameter that fell. But this is not damaged, okay? This is recognizable, okay? And then you come over here on this side and you see that they're all busted up and they're not in, in perfect line like this. And rings aren't always in perfect line like this. But you see when they get busted up, what they look like, okay? And I'll show you from a side view. All that is right here that's all busted up and all these pieces you see here are all ones used to look like that with the rings of the tree okay is it is it making sense now and they always split like that okay vertically and horizontally but I don't mean to repeat myself but you see this here is recognizable and this here is not okay the rings are busted and you'll see this in different many examples things that aren't recognizable but when you see things like this you know what it is when you see all this just all this trash and broke and broken up rock okay Okay, I'm standing on a massive pile of rocks, sand, gravel, debris, pushed up, creating an artificial dam. 
by the second spillway which poured down from there. With a lot of force. There's the airplock dam wall up there. Anyway, I'm gonna head up, head back up. Try and keep this thing steady. <laughs> One of several crosses, some of them on flat rocks, I'm guessing they're from drones taken off, people with their drones. Put on them, I'd like one. There you go, down the bottom of the waterfalls. <laughs> Slightly less water than what was coming down before. No, we're going up. There's another X Master spot. Helipad, drone pad. That's 30 feet up there and that that's all been this was once a paddock up to there, now it's gone. And this is a result of huge volume of water coming down. Wow, these rocks are sharp. Just glad I was here when I saw it in full flight. Well, not right here, I would have been washed away, but up the top where it was safe. There's, um, I saw a fish in that hole there splashing around, so yeah, still fishing here. And a lot of dead fish too. Okay. Look at these rock lays. I don't know what they're called, strata. Whatever they are, but really quite interesting patterns on the rocks. Good way to go. The main canyon here that's one coming off the side and there's another one coming off the other side but the grooves being cut out of this are quite deep 20 to 30 feet right not far from the top but there's deep grooves that have been cut out of here amazing I say cut or ripped by the water. It's just incredible. I get up there somehow.
Ah, some more fish. Oh, that really stinks. There's another one. And another one.
Okay, so this is just the start of a series of videos I'm going to take today. Phew. Showing you that uh, we're in Colorado Springs, Colorado. That the Garden of the Gods, the Manitou Cliff Dwellings, and all the things like that that are in this town are all the remains of giant trees, okay? And I'm going to show you here. These are just rings of the tree. These are just remnants that are left over. I'm gonna pause it while I walk up there. Okay, hold on. Okay, so remember, many things have fallen away, weathered, smooth, rounded. These trees were so giant, okay? And you can compare this to similar type rock formations all across this earth. Okay? These are just rings and you see here they just fall away. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to walk around this road here and uh, see what we can see. Hold on. I actually walked up here on this so you can see how massive these are. See right there. This ring right here is missing. It's just so much has fallen away. It's incredible. So we're going to walk up around here, see where that takes us. So hold on. So these are rings, okay? You'll understand here in a few. So all these right here, these are rings going up and they're busted up. So much has fallen away. That's where you get all these pieces, okay? I want you to look at this. All these are is busted up rings and you'll see it everywhere in the mountains. I don't care where you're at, okay? I should have looked close at this. Look close how the rings bust up. They're not recognizable for most people, but you will understand here in a minute. Okay? Okay, all that back there, you see how the tree is. There's different colors, textures, grains. Okay, and this is the sap that was in the tree. Okay, this is what the gold miners look for, whether it's tellurides or, or it's gold, silver. So, let me show you here, okay? So here's a set of rings that is recognizable, okay? You see that? Give me a better overview. Okay, all this is the same. This could be a massive branch that's hundreds of feet in diameter in the middle. But this is not damaged, okay? This is recognizable, okay? And then you come over here on this side and you see that they're all busted up and they're not in, in perfect line like this. And rings aren't always in perfect line like this. But you see when they get busted up, what they look like, okay? And I'll show you from a side view. All that is right here that's all busted up and all these pieces you see here are all ones used to look like that okay and then you come over here this is the garden of the gods we're gonna go over in this area all that area right there is just part of trees that snapped off and broken
that is over at the Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And you see stuff like this all around the world. And all it is is just parts of, of shards of the tree that's still remaining. Okay, I made it back down, but I want you to understand. You see how you have, it looks like there's different sizes here. Like this one's thicker, and then a smaller one, then one's missing, a medium one, and then a small one. You gotta understand how the, how the tree breaks down. Uh, I'll put a small section in here how you, how, where there's three rings about six inches thick. And you can see that from looking at the end of them. But on the outside, for some reason, they make all kinds of different uh, ring grooves. It looks like three or four rings, but it's actually one. That's all that's happening here. Like this thick one right here. Uh, you'll understand uh, when I put that, that short... I'll put a short section of a video clip, of a longer video clip in here. And you'll understand how... Uh, how the rings work uh, it may look like there's three or four different size rings but you look at it from a different angle which I'm not able to do here and you'll see that it's actually just three large rings and not like 12 or 13 smaller ones okay Deception. so here you can clearly see like I counted all the one two three four five six seven eight all the different rings you come over here that looks like a whole bunch of different rings like three right here but it's not they will all be the same thickness like you see right here there's three rings right here there's one two three but it looks like there's three here but there's not it's just if you look here on the edge you'll see there's actually three rings there it's just what it does on the end for some reason okay there's not three rings there. It's one ring, and just on the edge of it, it splits. But I see that a lot. You just gotta keep that in mind, because there could be a, a foot wide ring. There could be a ring that's, let me back this out a little bit. There could be a ring that's a foot thick, or 18 inches thick, one ring, but it looks like there's several. But it's not, it's one ring. And you see how it does it, okay? That's actually three rings, but it appears it's three and one, but it's not, okay? Okay, and, and so here's your overview, and you and I've already explained many times how uh, the tree rings here, how they, how they break off, whether it's laying upright like that, laying flat, you know, it just depends on whether it's a branch that uh, was sticking upright, out of the ground at a 45 or it's part of the main tree structure still standing which this is part of the tree structure still standing and I'll also put a picture in here of something very similar to this of what you're looking at but in a modern day tree I can only show you small examples and then when you see uh, part of the tree that's discolored like this it's not the same you gotta remember these things had different grains and colors in them depending on the tree and I'm talking different different grains that not on a small scale uh, you know on a giant scale and that's all it is it's just part of the grain part of the different colors that are in the tree okay so if this stuff was laying flat they would try to tell you it was sediment over millions or billions of years okay all these are are just tree rings that are all busted up. Okay, I've covered this enough. We're gonna move on, so hold on. Okay, so I came down here to kind of give you a different overview at a distance. You see on these smaller rings how uh, they're like staggered and they've fallen away. The same thing happened here on a giant scale. All this along here has fallen away. Just like you've seen on these smaller ones, how the rings are staggered and they've fallen away. This is just on a giant scale. I start this video off in the beautiful mountains of Appenzell. What I did is I called Schaeffler Mountain and it is absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of Seseda in the Italian Dolomites. And anyways, to get there, 
what I did is restaurant slash lodge. And um, it's about $45 a night. The sunset over this beautiful Schaeffler Mountain. I mean, it was incredible. Like one of the coolest sunsets in my life. We were able to whip out the FPV drone. It's not as crowded as other areas in Switzerland. And it's just absolutely beautiful. This lodge was awesome. It is just one of the coolest places ever. If you're not staying in the, if you're in Appenzell, you might as well. So anyways, that is it for Appenzell. Now for our second location, weird Switzerland, to Valle Versasca. So Valle Versasca located in the south side of Switzerland, near the town Lugano, which is just bordered Italy. So you're gonna drive up this little canyon and you're gonna get to Valle Versasca. And what it is, it's these two bridges overhangs one of the most beautiful rivers I've ever seen. It's probably some of the clearest river water in the world. I've been there several times. I love jumping off that bridge, doing some, some backflips, and then I also like to go swim on Instagram or email me on my email. We can figure something out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. More vlogs, more cinematic edits coming soon. It's Ryan, and we will see you later.